Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. So if you are a fan of these videos at all, or if you've watched pretty much any conference talk I've given, you know that I do not like seeing stood end line in code. So like this, this is kind of the canonical hello world that we're likely to see. And the idea is that you are sending an end line here, but stood end line does more than just an end line. It is exactly equivalent defined by the standard as doing this. So we probably don't need an explicit flush in every single statement that we're doing. And in many cases, this can actually cause a significant performance output problem uh, if you are writing a lot of lines to a file and you're putting a flush at the end of each line that you are writing to this file. That's generally not actually what you want to do. So, as you probably know, I advocate this. It is much more readable and it is more succinct for our Hello World example for IO streams. But that's not the exact point of this video. Part of the point, actually, is that many people tell me, well, if I'm debugging, then I must add this flush because I have to see the output from my stream operations. And I also have had a couple of people complain that if you don't put the flush here, that you're not going to see the output from your program because the buffer doesn't get flushed when your executable exits. But let me just say, actually, let's put this as indel. If you write this program right here with a backslash n in here saying I want to write a new line and your operating system is not showing you hello world because for some reason the buffer didn't get written when the executable exited, you need a new operating system. I'm just going to say that. But let's go back to this example. So our argument is I must have the end line there because I always need the flush because I need it for debugging purposes. Well, my answer is you're using C out wrong. And in fact, you shouldn't be using C out at all. Instead, you should be using C error. It turns out that C error was designed for this exact purpose. We can see here from the compiler explorer that we are getting this hello world is now in red because it is coming from std error. So we see if we go over here to cppreference.com and look up C error, it says that C error control output to a stream buffer, implementation defined, etc. outputs via the C stream std error. And then it goes on to say any output sent to these stream objects is immediately flushed to the OS. This is the entire reason std c error exists, so that we have a method of sending unbuffered output to the operating system so that we can do this kind of thing and we never need to explicitly say endline. Basically, it really should never be in your code. And I say that pretty strongly. If you want to write to the standard error stream but don't want to have this unbuffered behavior for some reason, like you're just doing normal logging or something and you're not trying to track down a specific bug. There is also C log, which I don't believe I've ever actually seen used in real code. But this is the buffered version of st standard error stream. C error is the unbuffered version of standard error stream. And C out is the buffered version of standard out stream. And then you have multiple output channels from your program that you can properly redirect at the operating system level however you want to to different files. This is the way that you should be using those. So I still say should not be using endline. You're using the wrong output stream if you need to use endline. So Thanks for watching this probably quite short video. I hope you liked it, and uh, be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter.